Now we continue with our coverage of China-U.S. trade tensions. Washington has published a list of Chinese goods valued at an estimated $50 billion that may soon be subject to fresh import tariffs. Chinese ambassador to the U.S. Tian Kai spoke with CGTN exclusively, saying that China is prepared to take countermeasures on the same scale of intensity. Here's Xiao Yunfei with more. China has voiced opposition against the proposed U.S. tariffs in a strong tone. Beijing urged Washington to revoke protectionist measures violating World Trade Organization rules and bring the bilateral trade of related products back to normal. We believe this is another step in the wrong direction. This is a unilateralist and protectionist action. We will certainly fight back. How? Well, we have measures to be taken in proportion to the U.S. actions and maybe with the same intensity, the same scale. On Monday, China hit back, suspending tariff concessions on 128 U.S. products, including pork and fruit. But for Beijing, there's certainly more moves to come. However, so he said such trade tensions do not benefit either side. I think in today's world, all the economies are closely interconnected and all the sectors are interconnected. So if something is done, to hurt one country's interest in some of the sectors, it will inevitably have negative impact on other economies, on other sectors. U.S. President Donald Trump signed a memorandum last month proposing tariffs of up to 25 percent on about $50 billion worth of Chinese imports into the U.S. About 1,382 products in a number of industries are affected. The memorandum is based on a Section 301 investigation into alleged Chinese intellectual property and technology transfer practices. Well, China has made tremendous progress in protecting intellectual property rights in the last few decades. This is clear to see, and we are ready to do more. If there's any violation of intellectual property rights in China, we have our laws. We can deal with these cases in accordance with our laws. We are ready to protect, protect the intellectual property rights of American companies, Chinese companies, or companies of any countries. China's ambassador to the WTO, Zhang Xiangchen, has also spoken out, saying that the U.S. actions are in contradiction with its commitments made at the WTO more than a decade ago, and that the United States had confirmed that it would base a Section 301 decision only on adopted findings of the dispute settlement body. Zhang said that according to WTO rules and America's commitment, the U.S. shall by no means determine unilaterally, based on a 301 probe, that other members had violated WTO rules. Zhao Yunfei, CGTN.